Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Welcome to another evening. week of assessment. This time, we shall be taking up or we shall be reviewing the cardiovascular system. And uh, we shall also be discussing Sheikhlef points and uh, the Jing River points. Let's start with uh, Mom Angel. Good evening. Good evening, Doc. Good evening, classmates. The blank is indicated by number 15. Um, num uh, ulnar artery. Okay, good. Which number is pointing to the internal and external carotid arteries? Number two. The blank is indicated by number five. Um, sub subclavian artery. Po. Okay, subclavian artery. Subclavian artery. Number three is pointing to? The internal and external jugular vein. The blank is indicated by number 11. The inferior vena cava. The vertebral arteries are indicated by number? Uh, by number four. The basilic vein is indicated by number? Number 14. Po. The descending aorta is indicated by number? Number 12. Which number is pointing to the subclavian vein? Number six. The blank is indicated by number seven. Axi axillary vein. Number nine is pointing to? The ascending aorta. The superior vena cava is indicated by number? Uh, by number 10. The axillary artery is indicated by number? Number eight. Number one is pointing to? The basilar artery. Number 13 is pointing to? The brachial artery. Which number is pointing to the internal and external jugular veins? Number three po. The blank is indicated by number 10. Superior vena cava. The blank are indicated by number two. Uh, internal and external carotid arteries. Number six is pointing to? The sub subclavian vein. Subclavian vein. Subclavian, sorry. No. <laughs> number four is pointing to uh, the vertebral arteries. Which number is pointing to the inferior vena cava? Number 11. Po. The blank is indicated by number 12. Descending aorta. Which number is pointing to the brachial artery? Number 13. Which number is pointing to the axillary vein? Number 7. Po. The blank is indicated by number 8. Axillary artery. Which number is pointing to ascending aorta? Number nine. The subclavian artery is indicated by number? Number five. Number 14 is pointing to? The basilic vein. Which number is pointing to the ulnar artery? Number 15. The basilar artery is indicated by number? Number one. The arcuate artery is indicated by what number? Number 28. The blank is indicated by number 27. The dorsal venomous arc. The blank is indicated by number 19. The great saphenous vein. The basilic vein is indicated by number? Number 14. Number 25 is pointing to? The posterior tibial artery. The radial artery is indicated by what number? Number 16. Number 21 is pointing to? The femoral vein. The anterior tibial artery is indicated by number? Number 24. The blank is indicated by number 15. The ulnar artery. Number 17 is pointing to? The common iliac vein. The common iliac artery is indicated by number? Number 18. The femoral artery is indicated by number? Number 20. Po. The popliteal artery is indicated by number? Number 22. Good. The blank is indicated by number 23. The popliteal vein. Anterior and posterior tibial veins are indicated by number? Number 26 po. Congratulations po, Ma'am Angel. Thank you po. I forgot to give assignment for Jing River. Can you take care of Jing River? Uh, sige po, Doc. Okay. <laughs> you have enough time. Okay, let's proceed. Thank you. Congratulations. Good job. Very excellent job. Let's go to Ma'am Ami Glorioso. Good evening, Ma'am Ami. Good evening. Good evening, Paul. Good evening, classmate. You sound very prepared. Mamaya magati hati kayo sa Jing River ni, ni Ma'am Angel. Okay? Okay lang? 
Sige. Okay. Which number is pointing to ulna artery? Number 15. Which number is pointing to the common iliac vein? Number 17. Number 18 is pointing to? Common iliac artery. Okay, common iliac artery. Yeah, okay. Remember the ilium? Okay. Number 14 is pointing to? Basilic vein. Which number is pointing to the posterior tibial artery? Number 25. Yeah. Number 28 is pointing to? Number 28 is uh, 28. Ano po yung artery yun? Number 28. Number 28 is art, art rate artery. Okay. Art rate artery. Which number is pointing to the great saphenous vein? Number 19. The block is indicated by number 16. Radial artery. The block is indicated by number 20. Femoral artery. Which number is pointing to the femoral vein? Number 21. Which number is pointing to the popliteal vein? 23. The block is indicated by number 24. Anterior tibial artery. Number 22 is pointing to? Popliteal artery. Which number is pointing to the dorsal, dorsal venous arch? Number 27. How many chambers does the human heart have? Four. Which blood vessel provides oxygenated blood? The aorta. Aorta, okay. Aorta. Which type of vessel contains valves? Our vein. How thick is the wall of a capillary? One cell thickness. What is a network of capillaries called? A capillary bed. What is the function of a valve in a vein? To prevent reverse, reverse blood flow. Which vessels supply the heart with blood? Coronary arteries. Which type of cell carries oxygen around the body? By red blood cells. What is the function of white blood cells? To be part of the immune system. Which type of vessel needs to withstand high blood pressure? An artery. Which of this is not a function of blood? The digestion of nutrients. What does the pulse represent? The heartbeat. A blood clot in the brain can cause which event? A stroke. Why is blood clotting essential? To reduce the blood loss. In what units is blood pressure measured? Uh, mm MHg. Okay, millimeter mercury or MMHg. Mm -hmm. Mercury. Okay. Which of these vessels carries the oxygenated blood from the heart? Pulmonary artery. Where does the right ventricle pump blood to? To the lungs. Which of the following is not transported in plasma? Vial. What is called when plaque builds up in the arteries? Arteriosclerosis. Okay. What is plasma? The liquid component of blood. What kind of signal does the cardiac pacemaker use? Electrical. Why do arteries have thick walls of smooth muscle? To withstand high pressure. What is the function of the blood-brain barrier? To protect the brain from toxics. What is a thrombus? A blood clot. What does the pulmonary vein supply to? The heart with? Uh, with oxygenated blood from the lungs. Oxygenated blood from the lungs. From the lungs, yes. Which component of blood is crucial to clotting? The platelets. What shape are red blood cells? Like a biconcave disc. What heart chamber does the vena cava empty into? Uh, into the right atrium. Right, okay, right atrium. Systolic blood pressure is measured when? Uh, when the ventricles contract. Which of the following is a possible result of improper blood flow in a coronary artery? A heart attack. Okay. Congratulations okay. po, Ma'am. Thank you, Doc. Ami, good. Excellent job. Walang mali. Wow. Thank you, Doc. Um, practice po kayo sa ating mga pronunciation, ha? So that when we are... 
ready with our clinics para medyo mas, uh, you know, kagalang-galang tayo na. Congratulations. Now, let's go to Baguio. Let's welcome Ma'am Janine Chan. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Doc. I, you sound very prepared. <laughs> <laughs> Number two is pointing to? The right atrium. The aorta is indicated by? Number seven. Good. Number one is pointing to? Superior vena cava. What number? Uh, what is number eight pointing to? Pulmonary arteries. Number four is pointing to? Inferior vena cava. cava. The pulmonary valve is indicated by what number? Uh, number five. The tricuspid valve is indicated by number? Number three. Number five is pointing to? Pulmonary valve. The inferior vena cava is indicated by number? Number four. Number three is pointing to? Uh, tricuspid valve. The right ventricle is indicated by number? Uh, number six. The superior vena cava is indicated by number? Number one. Number seven is pointing to? The aorta. The right atrium is indicated by number? Number two. Number six is pointing to? Uh, right ventricle. The pulmonary arteries are indicated by number? Number eight. Number 12 is pointing to? The left ventricle. The pulmonary veins are indicated by number? Uh, number 10. The average human heart beats how many beats per minute? 72 beats per minute. What is number 13 pointing to? Right. Uh, pulmonary valve. Are you sure? Do you want to change your answer? Aortic valve? Yes. Ah, aortic aortic valve. valve. Below the aorta. Okay, sorry. The left right. atrium is indicated by number? Left atrium, nine. The mitral valve is indicated by number? Eleven. Okay, I would like you to tell me what is mitral valve prolapse. No? Maybe if we have time later. Would that be okay? <laughs> MVP, tawag chan. Okay. The heart is enclosed in a double-walled sac called the... Pericardium. Number 11 is pointing to... Mitral valve. The left ventricle is indicated by number? Number 12. What is number 9 pointing to? The left, uh, left atrium. The aortic valve is indicated by number... 13. Oh. The rate at which the heart contracts depends on? The sinoatrial node. Okay, or the SA node. Okay. SA. Number 10 is pointing to? Pulmonary arteries. Number 10. Number 10. Number 10, pulmonary arteries, though? No. A vein siya. Okay, I have a question. Di ba usually, pag, oh. uh, pag ano, why is why is the pulmonary artery colored blue? Yeah. The pulmonary veins are colored red. Ngayon nga, nakaka-confuse doon. Okay. <laughs> okay. Ang, ano kasi, yung dugo from the right side of the heart, walang oxygen yan. Galing yan sa body. Okay? Nagamit na yung oxygen. So it has to go to um, the lungs, the lungs. The pulmonary arteries. That's why it's colored um, blue. So pulmonary veins ng galing yes. sa lungs, so may oxygen na siya. Kaya the number number 10 should be Vein. pulmonary, pulmonary veins. veins. Okay? okay? So don't be misled by the color. Ano, you have... Yes. Okay, the color itself will guide you kung ano talaga yung function ng um, anatomy, ng anatomical structure. Right. The pulmonary arteries carry blood to the lungs. Okay. And I think you know the reason now why. Yeah. Why do I, why does it have to go to the lungs? Because it needs it needs oxygen. Okay. So that's it. 
from the lungs, pulmonary veins, may oxygen na. Pupunta na siya mm -hmm. ngayon sa left yes. side. Okay? I hope that's yes. clear. The right atrium is indicated by number? Uh, two. The right ventricle is indicated by number? Six. The pulmonary arteries are indicated by number? Eight. Number six is pointing to? Uh, the right ventricle. The pulmonary veins are indicated by number? The veins. Yeah, ten. pulmonary veins. Oh, ten, though. Yeah, ten. Okay. The average <laughs> human heart, so mayo mabago mo na answer. The average human heart beats how many? Seven, 72 beats per minute. Number five is pointing to? Number five. Pulmonary valves. Pulmonary veins carry blood? From the lungs. What kind of blood does it carry? Oxygenated. Very Oxygenated. Good. The mitral valve is indicated by number? Eleven. Okay. Eleven. Later, after we're done, before we proceed to the she cleft points, um, let's talk about mitral valve prolapse. Can you do it? It's yeah. very, very common. The left ventricle is indicated by number? Number six. No. Hmm? Left. Twelve. <laughs> <laughs> what is number eight pointing to? <laughs> Uh, pulmonary arteries. Okay. The rate at which the heart contracts depends on? Uh, Sinoatrial node. The aorta is indicated by number? Seven. The pulmonary arteries carry blood? To the lungs. Oh, diba? Clear na, clear na. And you know the reason why it's colored blue. Number two is pointing to? Number two, right atrium. Okay. Thank you very much, Mom uh, Janine. Thank you. To redeem, <laughs> you have to tell us about MVP later. Okay? Mitral valve prolapse. Thank you, Doc. Yeah. Um, uh, try to tell, uh, tell us about it in a very layman way of, uh, you know, Look at ourselves as lema, like when you explain it to a page. Okay, so you have enough time. Thank you, Paul. Good job. Next, we call on Ma'am SP de la Cruz. Good evening, Paul. Good evening, Paul. Okay. Okay, ready, ready. Classmate. Good. <laughs> the hardening of fatty plaques lining the blood vessels is called atherosclerosis. Good. Which of the following causes a crushing vice-like pain in the chest? Angina. Coronary artery disease is also known as? Uh, ischemic heart disease. Ischemic heart disease, okay? From the word ischemia. Okay? I presume alam nyo na, ni-research na anong ibig sabihin ng ischemia. Okay, bigyan kita ng assignment. Um, Mamiya, <laughs> before we proceed to the she cleft, you tell us what's the difference between ischemia and infarction. Can you get that? Ischemia and infarction. Okay? Di ba meron tayong tinatawag na myocardial infarction? So, ano yes, ang ischemia, ano ang infarction or infarction? Yes, okay? Good. Yes. Primary hypertension or high blood pressure can be caused by? High sugar intake. No. Ay? Hindi high sugar intake. Ano ba sinasabi ng doktor mo pag medyo tumataas? High sugar intake. High salt intake. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Which of the following is the correct medical term for a heart attack caused by a blockage in a coronary artery? Uh, myocardial infar infarction. A heartbeat that is above 100 beats per minute in adults is called? Uh, tachycardia. An abnormal rate and rhythm of the heart is called? An arrhythmia. 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 Atrial fibrillation arrhythmia. or AFib. Hmm? Para medyo social pakinggan, AFib. 
is an abnormal heart rhythm characterized by rapid and irregular beating. Okay. What makes acute heart failure acute? Uh, happens suddenly. Good. It's Hypertension is the medical name for? Uh, low blood pressure. Extreme vasoconstriction of the peripheral blood vessels when exposed to cold is a symptom of which of the following? Reynolds, uh, Reynolds disease. Which of the following is a potentially life-threatening complication of a deep vein thrombosis or DVT caused by the detachment of a clot that travels to the lungs? A pulmonary embolism. Good. A decrease in the amount of red blood cells or hemoglobin in the blood is called? Anemia. What is the name of the disorder which impairs the body's ability to control blood clotting? Blood clotting. Uh, ato, hemophilia. Leukemia results in high numbers of abnormal what? White blood cells. What is a thrombus? Thrombus is a blood clot. When the leaflets of the valves in a vein, for example, in the leg, no longer meet properly, allowing blood to flow backwards, the vein is referred to as? Varicose. Okay. Bakit hindi... Ano ba to? <laughs> Bakit hindi nagba-backward flow ang vein? Yung... Dugo sa vein. Di ba pataas na siya ng pataas? What makes it like, yon ganon. Di ba? Lower side, you know, sa baba. Bakit paakit siya ng paakyat? Di ba? It has to go to the heart. Right? And then nakatayo ka. Bakit siya, you know, dire-diretso yung flow? What is it in the vein that makes it, um, <laughs> I think, doc, para, hindi, ano, parang hindi umaayos yung flow ng dugo. Okay, hindi. Bakit, <laughs> okay, kung normal siya, bakit hindi siya nagba-backward flow? Ano meron ang vein para hindi mag-backward flow? Yung valves. Okay? Yan ang, yan ang function ng valve. Kaya one way lang siya. So, pag nasira po yun, no, nagba-back flow. Okay? I hope, okay, that, that will be explained during your practicum. Leukemia is a group of cancers that usually begin in the? Uh, bone marrow. Cardiac arrhythmias are due to problems with? Uh, with the of electrical conduction system. Thrombocytopenia is a blood disorder in which there is a relative? Uh, decrease of uh, thrombocytopenia. Thrombocytes. No, no, no. Thrombocytes. Thrombocytes. Okay. A heartbeat that is below 60 beats per minute is called? Bradycardia. A decrease in red blood cell production can lead to? Anemia. A blockage in blood flow is called? An infarction. Above which of the following blood pressure readings would most adults be considered to have high blood pressure? 140 over 90 mmg uh, mmhg okay very good so alam niyo na yan ha yeah adults yung medyo may edad na angina is yeah. caused by uh reduced blood flow to the heart which of the following is a common cause of high blood pressure uh atherosclerosis hypotension is considered as a diagnosis if the systolic blood pressure is less than 90 mmHg. Good. Which of the following is a normal resting heart rate for most adults? 60 to 100 beats okay. per minute. Good. What is the medical term for the small dilated blood vessels commonly known as spider veins, which can sometimes be seen uh, near the surface of the skin on the face, leg, or at the uh, ankle? Uh, Telangiectasias. Wait lang, ganito ha. Oh Telangiectasias. Telangiectasis. Ectasia. Ectasia. Telangiectasias. Okay? Telangiectasias. Telangi. Angi means blood. Yeah. Angi. Angi. 
One common definition of thrombocytopenia that requires emergency treatment is a platelet count below. 50,000 per microliter. Okay. Ano yung napaka-common na nangyayari sa Pilipinas, lalo na pag umuulan? Apag, yeah, pagkatapos ng ulan. Yung parating chinicheck yung platelets. Platelet is another term for thrombocytes. Okay? Platelet stock. Oh. What do you call condition? Very common sa mga, yung mga maraming mga kana, yung mga oh, may okay. Yeah. Yes, dengue. Dengue. Very good. What is the most common cause of shock? Uh, severe blood loss. What effect would 0.5 liter or one pint of blood loss have? Very little effect. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> kaya nga pwede tayo mag-donate, di ba? When someone initially goes into shock, their pulse weakens, they look pale, and they have... Clammy skin. What would happen if shock worsened and went untreated? The heart would stop. Great. Why would you raise the legs of a casualty suffering from shock? Uh, to improve blood flow to the vital organs. Vomiting red or brown red blood may be caused by bleeding in the? Digestive system. A leakage of fluid from around the brain may be recognized by a thin watery blood coming out of? The ear. Okay. The symptoms of angina pectoris are anxiety, shortness of breath, and? Vice-like pain in the chest. The vice-like pain in the middle of the chest characteristic of angina pectoris can spread to? The jaw and both arms. Angina pectoris is when coronary arteries are? Narrowing. A heart attack is most commonly caused by? A black coronary artery. When blood flow to the brain is temporarily reduced, it may cause a person to uh, faint. Yeah. Someone suffering a heart attack will have a vice-like pain in the middle of the chest, but unlike with angina pectoris, the pain will not ease with rest. Okay, this is heart attack. Now. As shock develops and the oxygen levels to the brain lower, how will a casualty behave? They will become uh, restless and aggressive. When a person suffers from shock, it is important not to let them. Uh, <laughs> I think eat, drink, or smoke. Okay. Thank you very much, Mom. Uh, Mom SP, do you want to answer the question now? What's the difference between an infarct and an, an, an ischemia? Uh, Kumpapit, yeah, what would you choose? Ischemia, ischemic heart disease, or myocardial infarction? Ischemia. Okay. Kasi, <laughs> pa. Okay. So, ano difference? What is the difference between ischemia and infarct? Sa infarct, medyo namatay na yung cardiac cells, yung iba. Okay? Kaya nag, nagpo-compensate na lang yung, kaya medyo nag enlarge minsan yung yung heart. Okay? So, kailangan hindi tayo magka-MI, myocardial infarction. I hope that helped. Okay? So, in your actual practice, you will come across, especially when you, you know, when you go to hospitals or sana hindi naman mangyari. Some of your relatives might have this. So, at least as a practitioner, familiar po tayo dito. Thank you very much, Ma'am SP. Congratulations. Good job. Thank very, you, very good. Thank you, Paul. Okay, let's call on Sir Darwin Misola. Good evening, Paul. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Good. When a casualty has lost 2 liters or 3.5 pints of blood or more, it becomes difficult to... Uh, detect a pulse at least. Good. At least. A severe allergic reaction that affects the whole body is called... Uh, anaphylactic shock. The priority for the first aider helping someone who is suffering an anaphylactic shock is to minimize shock and... Uh, ease breathing. Good. A person suffering from an anaphylactic shock will have a widespread skin eruption, puffy eyes, and... Uh, impaired breathing. If the pain caused by an assumed 
angina pectoris persists or returns, the casualty may be suffering from a heart attack. Okay. What is a med the medical term for a heart attack? Yung kanina sinabi ko, di ba? Coronary heart. No, no, no. Myocardial infarction. Now you know the difference, ha? Pinili ni ano, doon daw muna siya sa ischemia. <laughs> Pero kung paulit-ulit na yan, bumabalik-balik, that's why you need to already do something about it, right? You need to find out what's causing the blockage. Good. So, MI. Para mas social, MI. <laughs> If a heart attack casualty is conscious, what can they be given to chew slowly? Uh, aspirin tablet. Okay, 300 milligrams. Yes. Air hunger, often a symptom of heart attack, is... Ano An extreme gasping for air. The body position that will put little stress on the heart of a heart attack casualty is... Uh, sitting on floor, knees bent. Mm -hmm. Good, talagang nag-research. You would help someone with their auto-injector of epinephrine or adrenaline if they are suffering from Anap an anaphylactic shock. Aspirin can help dissolve a blood clot and thus limit the damage to the heart. Yon. Shock may be caused by severe blood loss or by uh, severe body fluid loss. Someone with ashen skin and blueness at the lips is likely to be suffering an, an allergic reaction. Hello. Would you like to change your answer? <laughs> In the Asian skin, pag allergic reaction. Na. Kangina pa natin na sagot yon. Can you change your answer? Nagbublu na yung lips. Tapos yung skin mo kang putla putla na para ng abo. A, a heart attack. Yeah, great. What is the medical term for heart attack? Kanina lang yan. <laughs> MI, right? Myocardial impacts, impacts. Yeah, MI. Okay. Person having an anaphylactic shock may run the risk of developing hypoxia. Good. Why would someone suffering from an anaphylactic shock suffer from hypoxia? Uh, they're breathing too slowly. No. Remember, that's anaphylactic. May allergy. Ano ba nangyayari sa mga sa uh, swollen, swollen tongue and throat. Swollen tongue and throat. Kaya nahihirapang yeah, huminga. Shock can be caused by a variety of reasons. Which of the following does not cause shock? Psoriasis. What is the first thing a first aider must do when dealing with an emergency? Uh, assess risk. Good. Why should you assess the risks first? Uh, to be to avoid becoming a casualty. Okay. <laughs> Once you have assessed the risk and made sure you can you can approach the injured person safely, you must then uh, protect casualty from possible danger. Once the area has been made safe, you can assess the injured person. At this point, it's a good idea, if possible, to uh, get help from others. Great. Bystanders can help you control bleeding on an injured person, control traffic and onlookers, and most importantly, they can... Telephone for her. Help. Okay, may marami ng cell phone. When calling to emergency services, you need to provide your phone number information regarding the type of emergency, the number of casualties, and your location. Great. If a casualty is unconscious and not responding to gentle shaking, you will need to first check that they are breathing. If the casualty is not breathing and you are alone dealing with the emergency, you will first need to Call emergency services. Okay. If an injured person is not breathing and you have already called the emergency services, you now need to open the airways and... Start chest compression. Ah, yeah. Okay. Please remind doctor we're about to teach you how to do that. So, I don't know if... Yeah. I... Are you excited? Or diba? You can save lives. Okay. How many chest compressions should you do? 100 for me. Good. You stop giving CPR 
when the casualty starts breathing normally again, when you become too exhausted to continue, or when the emergency personnel takes over. Yeah. Okay, unless absolutely necessary, it shouldn't. Uh, move In order to keep an injured person calm, it is important to tell them what you are doing. Yes. Important. What do you do if a casualty is breathing but not responding? Uh, move them to a comfortable spot. Mm. What is a better answer? Place them in the recovery position or move them? Remember, the, the impossible, what can you move? Diba? Mm. Mo place them in the recovery position. As well as checking whether the casualty is conscious and breathing, you should also check uh, for signs of blood circulation. Good. If while driving, you are the first person to arrive at a traffic accident. You will need to park your vehicle safely away from the accident and you will need to uh, switch on hazard light. Good. When dealing with a traffic incident on a motorway, you should uh, never run across the busy lane. Okay. One of the things you can do to secure the area of a traffic incident is to uh, switch off ignition of damaged vehicles. Bucket. Um, more explosion. Yes, of course. <laughs> una, una yun. Dapat presence of mind. Ah. In a traffic accident, you should always assume that the casualty may have suffered uh, a neck or spinal injury. Good. One way to cut off the oxygen supply of a fire is to close the door. Mm -hmm. When leaving a building on fire, you should never use lips. Okay. What is the procedure when someone's clothes are on fire? I uh, stop, drop, and roll. Galing. You should lay down a burn casualty with uh, right side, side uppermost. Okay, good. You should never enter a building that is on fire. If you are trapped in a burning building, you should go to a room. Room with windows. Yes. <laughs> okay. Once in a room with a window, you will need to close the door and uh, black smoke from uh, black smoke from coming in. Okay, to escape through a window from a burning building, it is important to go out feet first. Okay. <laughs> Once you have you put your feet out of the window, and before you drop down, you have to lower yourself to full length. Okay. What would prevent a person from breaking contact in an electrical accident? Burns. Mm. Would you like to have another answer? Muscle spasms. Muscle spasms. Okay. When dealing with electricity, which incident would usually be immediately fatal? Uh, a, lightning, a lightning strike. No. Give it another try. Uh, contact with high voltage current. Yes, contact with high voltage current. So lightning, medyo, hindi lahat ng lightning. Ano, diba? Depende, magplay. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Sir Darwin. Good job. Very, very good job. Thank you, po. Okay, let's call on Ma'am Annaline de Asis. Good evening, po. Yes, good evening po, Doc. Reading ready. Okay. So, uh, general first aid. Before approaching a casualty struck by high voltage, you need to make sure that... Assess the risk. Wait lang. Ano ba tayo? Uh, uh, uh. Get to the uh, casualty quickly. Ano? Ay, halat ka. Salat ka. Mali, mali. Yeah, before approaching a casualty struck by high voltage, anong dapat mong siguraduhin? Saan na tayo? Before approaching a casualty struck by high voltage, you need to make sure that the power is cut off. Good. How far can an electric arc from a high voltage source reach? 
50 meter. Ang layo naman niya. Ah, 18, 18 meter. Sa dali lang po. At meron na kasi akong sagot, tinahanap ko. Para pa sa dali. Parang nagulo ako. Just compression. Okay, a, casual, a casualty who is still in contact with an electrical current is considered live and can uh, should not be touched. Good. To break the contact between a casualty and an electrical current, you should stand on a dry insulating material and use a wo wooden object. Which of the following is an insulating material on which you can... Met, uh, plastic mat. Okay. If you cannot break the contact with a wooden object, you can... Wait for an emergency services. Uh, pull out the victim away with a cord. Okay, with a cord. May magagawa ka pa. Yes. Apo. If, you, if you pull the victim away from an electrical current, you must make sure that you... Do not touch them directly. When carrying an unconscious drowning casualty out of the water, make sure that you keep their head higher than their chest. I, no. I so that po, ano po, ano? Alat lot. Lower than their Lower chest. Lower than their chest. A Opo. sudden entry into very cold water can increase blood pressure. Heart and, attack. So, yes, kaya yung mga nag Magsha-shower sa madaling, madaling araw. Okay. Kailangan warm. If a person has been in cold water for a long period of time, they might be suffering from... Hypothermia. The safest way to pull someone out of the water without endangering your life. School. Use a boat. Stay on land. Stay on land. Apo. Stay on land. Once a casualty is out of the water, you need to stop them getting cold by... Rubbing their skin hard. Shielding from the wind. Shielding them from the wind. Apo, shielding them from the wind. You may tackle a small fire by using... Fire blanket. In a traffic accident Apo. involving trucks, it is important to... Switch off the fuel supply. Okay, una-una talaga yon. Okay. When dealing with a traffic accident, you need to do... A thorough search of the area to look for people who may have been thrown out of vehicle. Okay. Punta naman tayo sa mass casualty. <laughs> incident, you must apply what is known as the five S's. The first S is for safety. The reason why you must assess safety first and not rush into help is because you need to call the emergency services. Mm, yung po, the reason why you must assess safety first, uh, you must you mustn't become a casualty yourself. Yeah. The second S Apo. for seizing up the scene. Okay, sizing up the scene. In sizing. Okay, sizing. Apo. When you size up the scene, you have to take in the whole picture to determine what kind of emergency you're dealing with. The actual people are. And if there are assess points for emergency services. Good. The third S is for start. No. Uh, setting up the area. No. <laughs> sending or sending for help. For help. <laughs> sending for help. Calling okay. emergency services. Make sure to tell them what type of emergency it is, an approximate number of casualties with the. Event has taken place and the type of help needed. Okay. Ano yung fourth S? Set up? Yes. Stop and uh, po, set up. Found a safe place away from the worst injured area for the bystanders. Bystander? No. Uh, 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 walking, uh, walking wounded. Dead. The last S stands for S-T-A-R-T, START. What does this acronym mean? Simple Triage and Rapid Transport. Oh, rapid Treatment. Ah, rapid Treatment po. Opo. Triage and Rapid Treatment. Opo. Kasi dapat may nagawa ka na before mong transport. Roughly, how long should you spend with each casualty for your primary triage? 
30 seconds. Triage is to quickly evaluate. Respiration, blood circulation, and consciousness. And mental status. Ah, mental status po. Oh, not consciousness. Okay po. Primary triage is also used to quickly determine. Remember, Maskasho. Who needs help most urgently? Urgently. A general oh, well. system can be used to triage cases at an MCI or mass casualty incident. Though there are no hard rules, the most commonly used colors are? Red, yellow, green, and black. Wow, ang galing. In a triage situation, color red is used to victim to? Immediate attention. Need immediate attention. Good. What color is used for the walking wounded? Green. In an MCI situation, a yellow tag is used for victim to? My... Uh... Need care within two to four hours. Good. A yellow label means the victim is not needed, but has injuries which... Ito, not so sure kasi abang yellow po, not life-threatening. So it can be, might improve. No, could become life-threatening. Could become life-threatening. Okay, sige po. A black label or tag is for the casualties. For disease. Patay yes, na. Patay na. Uh -huh. Casualties who are not expected to survive because of the severity of their wounds are given anong color? Not sure po kung no label or red. Black label. Pag red, ah, black. So this is pa din para expected na they will die. Opo. Hindi na sila expected to survive. Opo. So black, black label. When checking for respiration, you will give the casualty a red tag if they take Twenty breath. I ah uh, when checking respiration, twenty breath in a minute. No, that's normal. Ah, uh -huh. yung hirap niya. More than thirty. More than thirty. Uh, more than thirty breath. Yeah. Opo, in a minute. If a person is break breathing after you've opened their airways, which tag should they be given? Ah, uh, red. Red tag. Checking yes, blood po. circulation or perfusion is done by checking neck or by listening to the heart press mm -hmm. up uh, pressing on the nail pressing on a nail bed. Apo. What does CRT stand for when related to check checking for blood flow and circulation? Circulation. Ah, uh, what? Type of capillary refill time. Capillary refill, refill time. Opo, capillary refill time. When circulation is normal, how long should it take for the nail bed to return to pink after having been pressed? 10 seconds. Ma masyadong matagal. <laughs> ah, okay. 2 seconds po. 2 seconds. <laughs> so, 2 seconds. Okay. If the nail bed takes longer than two seconds to return to pink after being pressed, the casualty is given a... Huh? Red tag. Yes. When checking for mental status, you are looking to see if a casualty can... Respond to small command. Simple commands, yes. Apa, what color or of tag should a casualty be given if their respiration is fine? Their blood circulation is normal, but they are showing symptoms of disorientation or are unconscious. Yellow tag? Red tag. Ah, red tag pa din po. Apo. If in doubt regarding the condition of any casualty, anong gagawin mo? Hindi ka sure. Give, give nala a red tag. Yes, red tag pa rin. What should Apo. you do if you suspect the casualty is suffering from shock? Give a, a ay sa bagay pag green tag walking ito. Uh, give a higher tag. Give a lower. higher tag. In an MCI situation, tag. what type of first aid treatment do you most urgently need to give? Stop bleeding and restore breathing. Very good. Congratulations po. Thank you po. Very, very good job. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you po. I hope you enjoyed.
Ha? At least nag-research kayo mabuti. Let's call on Sir Michael. Good evening, Sir Michael. Wedding ready, ready na. Okay, bilisan natin to. Low oh, blood pressure is cold. A hypoxia. Okay, hypoxia. Hypoxia, yeah. A, a casualty suffering from mild hypoxia will have... Not a A difficult thinking clearly. Yes. How long without oxygen does it take for brain cells to start dying? This one is very, very important. Not 10 minutes. I think it's number three, three minutes. Three minutes. Very good. Signs of hypoxia are a gray-blue thing to the lips, noisy breathing, a red puffy face, and... A persistent dry cough. Very good. A hanging casualty should be handled carefully because they might... I have... Um... Not very sensitive. Have a broken neck. Okay. Drowning casualty who has recovered quickly should still go to a hospital because the water may have irritated the lungs and the air passages could I become swollen. Uh, swollen hours later. Yes. Kailangan talaga ha, kahit naka recover na sa drowning, you have to bring the the casualty to the hospital. Yes. When the air passages swell hours after a drowning incident, this is called a secondary, a secondary drowning. Secondary drowning. The symptoms of a prolonged exposure to low levels of carbon monoxide are headaches, confusion, nausea, and not the church. Aggression. Aggression. Okay. Uh, kayo, sinara mo yung gal yung... <laughs> okay. okay. A lung flaps if air enters. A plural. Plural. Oh, no. Very good. A collapsed lung is called pneumothorax. Yes, yeah, pneumothorax. A pneumothorax is mm -hmm. caused by. <laughs> And it's not as a, a chest wound. A chest wound. When dealing with a penetrative wound to the chest, you need to recover the wound and the breathing. Yes. Acute anxiety and panic attacks can cause. Uh, of course, of course, hyperventilations. Nakaka relate ka mo, okay? Opo, opo. Nakaka relate po kung yun eh. Okay, so you know this very well. Someone shout suffering an asthma attack will have difficulty breathing and will have a, a long breathing out, out face. Yeah. Yung out face niya. What color is the cup of the inhalers used to relieve an asthma attack? I'm not familiar with this one, Doka, but uh, I think that not a, not white, but blue cup. Blue cup. Wow, very good. So now familiar ka na. <laughs> A treated mild asthma attack should ease within? Not three minutes. 20. Uh, three minutes in the middle. <laughs> it's caused by an inflammation of the? Uh, windpipe and lungs. Oh, no, larynx. Yeah, windpipe and larynx. Um, um, Obstruction of the airways can be caused by a foreign object or by uh, internal. Uh, no, Inter yeah. internal swelling. Yeah. Internal yeah. swelling. A casualty of strangulation or hanging will have. A prominent veins on the face. Very good. If dealing with strangulation and hanging, it is important to keep the material that was constricting the neck as? Yes, the police. Yes, <laughs> the police. police okay. When dealing with a casualty of drowning, it is important to restore breathing and? Oh, not this one. Uh, keep the casualty warm. Mm -hmm. Carbon monoxide is a gas that stops red blood cells from? 
Carrying not uh, carrying oxygen. But very good. Some of the effects of smoke inhalation are coughing and wheezing, rapid and noisy breathing, and Oops. not to add. uh bur burning in the mouth and nose. Correct. Burning in the mouth and nose. Frothy red blood being coughed up and a sign of. Fine. I penetrated wounds on the lungs. Because yeah. I didn't speak it for smoke. So, so I'm impenetrating, I'm yes. impenetrating wound to the yeah. lungs. During a severe asthma attack, the person may uh, become exhausted. Croup is an attack of severe breathing difficulty that affects the woman. A very young, a very young children. In order to stop a croup attack from recurring after one that has just happened, you need to dream, dream us. Oh, no, no, uh, a humid atmosphere. Kailangan mo ng humidifier. Create a humid atmosphere. Epiglottitis is when the epiglottis is infected and can not sure with that this dog ah. not a bleeding not bleed uh the black the black airways completely yes that's correct block the airway completely kaya dapat uh, you know yan ang risk pag may epiglottitis during an asthma attack you will need to call the emergency services if the casualty worsens or if the relief inhaler if one is available has had no effect after not 15 minutes. Uh, five minutes. Five minutes. Before entering a garage full of exhaust fumes, you must... Ano yung una mong gagawin? Not, a, not covering your face. Even the drench yourself. This one, let the gas escape, of course. Okay. Wow. Congratulations. Ay, isa pa pala. Sorry. Which of these vessels carries the oxygenated blood from the heart? Pulmonary vein? No. A pulmonary artery? Pulmonary artery. Where does the right ventricle in the heart pump blood to? Uh, the lungs? Lungs. Very good. Which of the following is not transported in plasma? Urine, you know, initial A bile? Bile. Name the contractions that push food through the esophagus. This one, has, I'm not familiar with this one. Uh, must move, no. Uh, peristalsis. Peristalsis. What type of acid is found in the stomach? Not, not nitric acid. Hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid. Very good. Where is bile made? In the liver. What are steroid hormones made of? Uh, not minerals, no. Um, uh, lipids. Lipids. What kind of hormone is estrogen? Mm. Ah. Oh, no, steroid hormone. Good. What type of cell provides a physical barrier on the skin? A keraton, kerona, keratinos, kera, keratinocytes. 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 Okay. What is the basic functional role of the cerebellum? Hmm. Cerebellum. Uh, motor activity. Motor activity. Where does fertilization occur? Upper in the obidon, obidac, or fallopian tube. Okay, how many chromosomes are in a haploid cell? A 23. 23? Yes, sex cells are examples of what type of cell? Not the point, no. Haploid, haploid cell. When does ovulation occur? The after the follicular phase. 
Very good. Contraction of the diaphragm causes which action to take place? Contract diaphragm. Not inspiration, not a ex inspiration. Inspiration. Very good. Very good job. Uh, excellent job, pala. Okay. Sir Michael. Ay, mala pa pala. Hindi pa pala tapos. Okay. Which compound in the blood carries oxygen around the body? Not collagen. No. Uh, hemoglobin? Hemoglobin. Yan uh, hemoglobin. The skeletal okay. muscles are necessary, are accessory muscles to which action? Earlier is inspiration. Is okay. still inspiration. Accessory siya, ha? So mm. you the diaphragm. What type of condition is asthma? Oh, so obstruction. Obstructive conditions. Good. Antidiuretic hormone, or ADH, is produced by? Episodotic glands. Very good. Which blood vessels supply the kidneys with blood? Uh, the artery. The renal arteries. Renal arteries. Maraming salamat po. Uh, excellent job, Sir Michael. Very Thank you po, Doc. Thank you so much. Po. Let's call uh, Ma'am Jalaisa, Rayapur. Good evening, Ma'am Jalaisa. Are you ready? Yes, Doc. Wait lang po, Doc. Wait lang po, Doc. Yes, Doc. Sandali lang po. Kasi nagsara. Ah. Wait lang, Doc. Please lang. <laughs> Okay, na po, Doc. Okay. What kind of signal does the cardiac pacemaker use? Electrical, Doc. What is a thrombus? Um, blood clot. Which of this is an accessory organ to digestion? Um, accessory. Small in the skin. Uy, napaka-importante niyan sa digestion. Ay, stomach, Doc. Stomach. Oh. No. No. Accessory. Accessory. Um, Pandagdag. Ay, yeah. Gallbladder, Doc. Gallbladder. Minention mo na lahat. <laughs> One of the intestinal villi is approximately blank thick. Uh, Mahama itong tukay. Okay. 3.0 cell. Oh, saan, saan ka nag-refer niyan? Mula yan sa libro, ha? <laughs> Doko lang ako na lang ito. Di ko na ano ito. Eh. Okay. Di ko na sakutan ito. One cell. One cell. 1.0 cell. What is a bolus? Bolus. Ano yung bolus? Abolo ko sa color food. Bolus. Abol. What is a bolus? Ano answer mo? Uh, uh, Doc, ano to? Fully digested food? No. Hindi ko po na ano to, Doc. Eh. Huh? Hindi ko po na research to, Doc. So, dapat mo i-research yan. Anybody would like to help? A ball of masticated ball. food. Ball of masticated food. Uh, Thank ball. you. Yun po ah. A ball of masticated food. Kailan ka ba nag-aaral kahapon lang? Hindi pwedeng kahapon lang. Okay, which of this is not an indicator of an overactive thyroid? Overactive. Ano dok ang uh, overactive thyroid? Not an indicator. Muscle weakness dok. No. Not active. Not overactive thyroid. Hindi siya indicator. Ano ba indicator? Like, okay, may tayong hypoactive thyroid or underactive or overactive thyroid. So si al sa andito sa dalaw sa tatlo. Indicator of active thyroid. Ano dok weight weight gain? Wala yan sa overactive thyroid. Usually weight loss. Okay, what substance is used to make steroid hormones? Did you study? 
Yes, the doctor is one like study doctor. The first. Okay, what is your answer here? So, alin sa tatlo ang medyo may kinalaman sa lipid? Lipids. Glucose doc. Ay, hindi on. Ay, naku ha. Ma'am July sa... Cholesterol. 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 Okay. Sebum. Ito, napakadali. Sebum secreted is secreted from the... Saliva... Um... Sebaceous gland. Sebaceous gland. Sibong na nga eh. No? What is alopecia? Um, hair loss. Mm -hmm. What are the immune cells in the epidermis called? Immune cells in epidermis. research? Hindi po doon ko eh. Iba po yung na-research screen. Ibang pages yun eh. Kagabi ko lang kasi napasa sa akin. Napasa okay. sa akin. So, ano sagot mo rito? Epidermis cold sa ano po ito eh? Sa balat? Oo nga. Lahat yan. Largest. Ano yung immune cells tinatawag doon? Immune cells. Larger, ano? Larger cells. Larger cells. Larger cells. Organ produces hair. Um, organ, hair polite. Or hair follicle, okay? Hair follicle. Which of the following does not protect the brain from damage? This is the problem. Immunoglobulin. Immunoglobulin. What is electrical signal in a neuron? Action. Mm, action, mm, potential. action. Action potential. Action potential. Rounds the brain to protect it. Um, cerebral spinal fluid. How many chromosomes does a child receive from its father? Father. Um, 21 or 20. 21 or 23. Alin ba sa dalawa? Twenty one. No, twenty three. Three, twenty three. So, the production of male sex cells called. Um, spermatologists. What causes sperma? What causes hiccups? Hiccups. Um, spasa in the diagram. The Bowman's capsule drains into which part of the nephron? Nephron. Saan nag-drain ang Bowman's capsule? Sa your, ano po daw? Sa loop. Loop Sa of Henle. Loop okay. of Henle. Well, where in the kidney does the reabsorption of water occur? Uh, sa ureter? No. Sa ureter? Loop of Henley. The loop of Henley. Okay, doon nangyayari ang reabsorption ng water. Filtered blood leaves the kidney via which vessel? Uh, renal vein. Okay, very good. Okay, um, which component of blood is crucial to clotting? Big uh, legs. What shape are red blood cells? Uh, I call, I call cave this. What is the result of improper blood flow in a coronary artery? Heart attack. The glands that produce amylase are in the... The mouth. The mouth. Which part of the body performs mastication? Mastication. Intestine? No. Mastication. Ano ba ibig sabihin ng muscle of mastication? Hindi na tayo ako. Intestine. Ano ba ibig sabihin ng mastication? What is mastication? Uya. 
Muya. Bakit kailangan? Muya ang mouth, the mouth, dok. The mouth. Muya. The mouth. The stomach is rich in cold. cold. Diba? It's, um... No. No. Rugate. Rugate. Where does the descending colon lead to? Descending lead to appendix. No. Descending, descending colon. Descending pababa. Rectum. Rectum. Which of these Rectum. hormones is released in response to stress? Um, cortisol. Which of these increases the metabolic rate? Metabolic rate. Hemoglobin, blood, oxytocin. Oxytocin, tyrosine. Oh, tyroxine. Tyroxine. What, which kind of hormone crosses the target cell membrane? Steroid. Well, maybe the protein hormone. No, steroid hormone. Um, okay. This is the hormone that crosses the target cell membrane. Which one of these is a sex hormone? Say steroid, estrogen. Ultraviolet B radiation damage can cause which of the following? Uh, lipoma or malignant melanoma. Malignant melanoma or lipoma. Malignant melanoma. Which of these is an excitatory neurotransmitter in skeletal muscle? Neuro. Hmm? Ano po? Um, ano ulit na to? Last time to. Acetyl, uh, acetyl... Acetylcholine. 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 the fetus with oxygen and blood. Ang vilikang cord. How many chromosomes does a zygote contain? 46. Yes. Which process is used to produce sex cells? Menstruation. Okay. Which of these are accessory muscles to inspiration? In diagram. No, the main yan. That's the major muscle. Inspiration. Spenomaster. What does yes. pressure in the lungs do during expiration? Pag nag expire ano nangyayari sa pressure sa lungs? Expire. Increase, Doc. Increases. What causes an oxygen death in the body? What? Anong klaseng exercise? Oxygen death in the body. Anaerobic exercise. Anaerobic exercise. During periods of high hydration, urine would be? Uh, more dilute. More dilute. The plasma membrane provides the outer boundary of? The cell. Yes. The cell membrane is made mostly from a double layer of? Uh, Photolipids. Photolipids. Phospholipids. 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 The cytoplasm of the cell is blank water. How many percent? Fifty look? No. Hindi ka nag research. Cytoprocesses. Look, ano po? Twenty lang to plus. Oh, God. No. Cytoplasm, cytoplasm. Doc, eight. Pag di pwede magiging 50, di pwede 20, di 80, Doc. 80%. 80. 80. The cytoplasm includes the organelles and the? Uh, cytosol. What separates the nucleus from the cytoplasm of the cell? Cyt nucleus. Ano nagsasabi ng nucleus from the cytoplasm? What is your answer? 
What is a pray to please for the Santa Claus? Look at your envelope. Look at your envelope. Which of the following is found inside the nucleus? Papalang na tutok no. No. Na gogi ala. No. Like 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 so so like so so. No no no. Did you did you study the cell? No doc. Okay. The answer is nucleolus. Which organelle digests other worn out organelles as well as food particles and engulf viruses and bacteria? Lysosomes. Lysosomes. Where are the cells' chromosomes stored? Endoplastic elliptic balloon. Chromosomes. And then back to. In the. Okay, where are the cells chromosome stored? So, um, the nucleus, doc. Nucleus, okay. Which organelle is particularly important for the synthesis, folding, modification, and transport of proteins within the cell? Ano to, mitochondria? Oh. Endoplasmic endo reticulum. Which of the following has ribosomes attached to its surface? It's put a endoplastic reticulum. Oh, rough. Kaya nga rough eh. May mga attached to the surface. After modifying proteins and lipids, the Golgi apparatus packages them into bakul. Which organelle acts as an assembly line where proteins are synthesized from RNA? Ribosomes. Which organelle generates energy for the cell? Energy from the cell. Mitochondria. Yes. Which of the following organelles could be described as a compartment filled with water containing inorganic and organic molecules? Ribosome. 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 No, a vacuole. Vacuole. The network of interlinking filaments and tubules that providing a cell with shape and stability is referred to as. Cytoskeleton. Cytoskeleton. Okay, Ma'am Jelaisa, please uh, manage pent lang po. Ito, kasi ibang ano yung nasa butang ko eh. Ano po? Kagabi ko lang po na-receive kasi yung ano, yung... Kagabi? Ito po, kagabi lang po. Ito po eh. Ha? Oh, kagabi ko lang po na-receive. Okay, sige. Uh, please... Um... You know, I, I don't have to tell you what to do, no? Mag-effort tayo kasi... Ang gagaling pa... Pero kung nakasagot ako na may iba, sa alam ko na may iba, iba talaga, hindi ko alam. Ay, hindi po. Hindi po ito hula-hula, no? You have... We provided you all the material, so it's up for you to find time. Definitely, you cannot do this like the day before. Yes, po. Mag-exert tayo ng effort para hindi sumakit ang ulo natin. Okay, let's go to Sir Victor. There's Doc. Okay, good evening po. Okay, mukhang ready-ready. Magandang gabi po sa lahat. Magandang gabi po. Carbon dioxide and oxygen move across the plasma membrane by the process of? 
diffusion. Very good. What is the name for the process whereby the membrane of a vesicle fuses with the plasma membrane, allowing its contents to be released from the cell? Cysts. Exocytosis. No, exo. Good. The exo. Yeah, the outer layer of the cytoplasm is called ectoplasm. The main microtubule organizing center of the cell is microtubule organizing center. Centrosome. Very good. The centrosome is composed of how many centrioles? Two. Genetic information is carried out of the nucleus and to the sites of protein synthesis in the cytoplasm by? mRNA. Okay, what does the M stand for? Messenger. Micro uh, messenger. The site of... Um, Ribosome synthesis and assembly within the cell is? Nucleolus. Yes. DNA replication takes place in the? The nucleus. Lysosomes are known to contain more than 60 different enzymes. Where are they synthesized? In the rough. Okay. Rough endoplasmic reticulum. Which of the following is associated with the production and metabolism of fats? and steroid hormones within the cell. Smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Yes. Processing and packaging macromolecules, such as proteins and lipids, is the primary function of which of the following organelles? The Golgi apparatus. Very good. Which of the following is involved in the production and folding of proteins? Rough endoplasmic reticulum. Ribosomes link amino acids together to form polypeptide chains according to instructions from mRNA. The messenger RNA. Very good. The energy generated by the mitochondria is carried to where it's required within the cell by molecules of ATP. Yes, adenosine triphosphate. Which type of organelle is used within the cell to ingest extracellular fluid and molecules? Answer po? Cytotic vesicles. Cytotic vesicles. Very good. Now let's go to the chic left points, finally. So from 1 to 21. What are chic left points also called? Uh, they are called uh, accumulation points. Very good. Where are chic left points located? Uh, in, in looking uh, fingers, toes, elbows, knees. Okay. Uh, with the exception of uh, I see thirty four. I wow, talagang completo. Okay, this is where the chi and blood of the meridian pool or accumulate. No, sabi nga ninyo between the ankle and knees and the wrist and elbows, except for yeah. What do Shiklev points treat? Shiklev points are mostly used in acute patterns, especially where there is pain. Yeah. They can also be used to stop bleeding. Okay. For anong classing points? The young point in the young channel or the yin, yin channel? Very good. So, sabi nyo nga, um, it can treat uh, pain because it treats stagnation and blockages. No, So, that means it can regulate uh -huh. circulation, the chi and blood flow, and restore normal function. What are the common uses for the chi cleft points? They are primarily, primarily indicated for channel problems and most used for excess patterns uh, especially when there is so where are they more um, commonly used acute pain or chronic pain 
for uh, acute acute pain. Very good, and also for bleeding related to organ or channel, no? Especially yung sinabi nyo kanina, the yin channels. What is the shake left point of the lung? Uh, lung six conjui. Okay. What is the shake left point of the large intestine? Uh, large intestine seven. Shake left point of the stomach. Stomach thirty four. Shake left point of the spleen. Eg. Spleen. Spleen eight. Be good. Shake left point of the heart. Six. Heart six. She left point of the small intestine. Uh, SA6. She left point of the urinary bladder. Bladder 60. 63. What is the she left point of the kidney? Kidney 5. She left point of the pericardium. Here. PC. Uh, pericardium 4. Shake left point of the Sanja. Uh, Sanja 7. Shake left point of the gallbladder. Uh, GB 36. Shake left point of the liver. Liver 6. What type of pain does she left, do she left points treat? Uh, they treat. Uh... Acute pain and stop bleeding in inches. Okay. Can you also use chic left points to treat emotional pain? Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. You're sure. Okay. Yes. No? Because uh, yes. Chinese medicine, uh, there is always um, a relationship between the emotions and the organs. Okay. They're not considered separate. Thank you, Doc. Nakaroon po, like, nagalit ka, sumasakit yung ulo mo, or sumakit yung atay mo. Nakaroon ka ng cheese stagnation. So you might want to use the chic left point. What is the chic left point of the yin chow? Yidni 8. Very good. What is the chic left point of the yang chow? Bladder 59. She cleft point of Yang Wei. 35. She cleft point of Yin Wei. Uh, kidney 9. Maraming salamat po, Sir Victor. Thank you so much. Excellent job. Po. Uh -oh, thank you po. So now we're learning a uh, about uh, she cleft point. Thank you po. Now let's go to... Dr. Mary Templo, are you still there, Paul? Yes, Doc. Good evening. Good evening, Paul. Okay. Which chic left point is indicated for painful skin due to painful... GB36, Paul. Very good. Okay. GB36 can also be used to treat rabies. Okay? Okay. Please take that down. Wow. Very yes, good. I'm happy. How's <laughs> which she cleft point clears heat and detoxifies poison in cases of carbuncle, furuncle, painful throat obstruction, and heat swelling of the face? Okay, ganito yan ha. I'll give you a clue. It's uh basically, of course, if we're saying that lungs affected yung skin niya, no. But take note, nag ano na po siya, nag uh, nag Nag overflow na yung init. So we're actually looking at another point. So we will be thinking of the young component of the lung, which is so what is the what is your answer here, Doctora? L I seven po. Oh, very good. Thank you. The bug gets the <laughs> Pag naging young na kasi may 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 ano na naging it's still part, it's still related to the lung, but this time. Uh, grabe na yung yang. So we look at the she cleft point of the large intestine. 
which shake left point is specially indicated for uterine bleeding? Um, kidney eight box. Wow, very good. Wow, I'm I'm so inspired. <laughs> but I'm. Nag-aaral lang. Hindi yan na di ba? So kidney eight, because the kidneys are related to the uterus, di ba? So it's also used for menstrual issues, no irregular menstruation. Dysmenorrhea, amenorrhea, so uterine bleeding, anything related to the uterus, so kidney aid. This is very, very important po because you get to meet cases like this. So kahit sa acute ito, ang gustong malaman ng pasyente kung natutulungan mo kaagad. Okay, so doctora, you can use kidney aid on the ear. So I hope you have a copy of the book already, which I posted last week, and I'm sure you all have it. Yes, yes. and... Um, Yun. I'm just overwhelmed because at least wala yung aking stress. Which she cleft point is indicated for arm, shoulder, and scapula pain as well as lumbar sprain? SI6. Very good. Okay. Hanapin nyo din po. Ganito, para mas amaze, ma-amaze sila and nobody will complain you're doing acupuncture, uh, you can use the SI6 on the ear. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's okay. still same side. Very good. Which Schickler point is indicated for breast pain, breast abscess, and for acute epigastric pain? Stomach 34. Great. The bomb is exciting if you locate the stomach 34 on the ear. No? The reason why we use the stomach here, because it's the breast. Right? Yeah. Great. Which shake left point is indicated for sudden shun disorder? Okay, ito yung may counting issue with the, you know, with the reproductives, no? Yung ating, ano ba tawag dito? Kakaroon ng problem with inguinal, yung sa testicular, okay. And acute vomiting and diarrhea with cramps, epilepsy, and severe joint pain. UB63, urinary bladder 63. Very good. Wow. Which C cleft point is indicated for amenorrhea, irregular menstruation, dysmenorrhea, and delayed menstruation due to blood stasis or deficient blood? Kidney 5. Great. Which C cleft point treats acute cough, wheezing, asthma, and coughing blood of any pattern? So, ito yung kanina si Menensha ni Sir Victor. Na pag mm, dito may idea na tayo kung anong klasing she cleft po ito kasi may blood nag cough blood no nag uh -huh. yeah. so what's your answer to lung six po yes. and finally which she cleft point is indicated for dysmenorrhea irregular menstruation and abdominal masses due to blood stasis abdominal it's screen 8 po. Okay, maraming salamat po, Doktora. Thank you, Doc. Tinggaling niyo. Okay. <laughs> salamat. Sana yes. all. Thank you po. Thanks, Doc. Thank you so much. Now let's call on uh, Ma'am Lane. Ma'am Lane, Arandia, are you still around? Yes, Doc. Good evening po, Doctor and classmates. Yes. What happens... Does it chia ninety and she? What happens with the chi and blood at the she cleft points? Sorry. Uh, when channel travel and meet the circuitous or group part of the body, chi and blood will gather and irrigate at those blood sites. Yes, it goes very deep. It goes very deep. Which she cleft point is indicated for acute and severe mental disorders? Nine. Lift, uh, kidney 9 chick left point of the end wave. Yeah, you can also use kidney 8. Very good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Kidney 8. Kidney, nine, kidney 8 or kidney 9. Yeah, ying wei. Yeah, we're good. Which mm -hmm. left point is indicated for blood stasis in the uterus, shun disorder, and lower abdominal pain? Uh, liver 6. Yay. Which point is indicated for chest pain due to blood stasis mm -hmm. and upper jaw bleeding due to hot blood? PC4. 
Great. The she cleft points on the yin channels don't just treat pain, but also disorders of blood. Wow. Which Jing River point treats chills and fever with vomiting, coughing, and diarrhea in children with no desire to eat? Spleen um, 5. Okay, so memorize the memorize the Jing River. Huh? The Jing River point is where the chi. Uh, where the chi flows down the channel. Very good. Sunshine of flow before it goes to the sea. No? Which Jing River point treats propensity to anger with incessant talking? Kidney 7. So, ngayon alam nyo na ha. So, ay, maayaw to digas sa kasalita. So, ang madaling magalit. Kidney 7. I suggest that you use the ear. No? You have the book, Ma'am Lane, yung sa ear? The pocket? Um, meron po, pero uh, hanapin ko po kasi. Hanapin nyo yung kidney 7. Dami. Alam nyo mga kidney 7 sa body, okay la. Okay, yung mga madaling magalit dyan. Let's go to number 39. Which Jing River Point treats a heavy body with painful joints? Spleen 5 po. Galing. Which Jing River Point treats lock jaw, stiff tongue in babies preventing suckling and clonic spasm? Um, SI5. Congratulations po, Ma'am Lane. Thank you po. Very excellent job. Thank you po. At least walang mali. So now I can... I can say that uh, you will really, really become good practitioners. Thank you, Pop Mom Lane. Congratulations. Okay. Let's call on Mom Mary Jen Desma. Doc, good evening, Doc Hector. Good evening, everyone. I do sorry, I apologize. Hindi ko po inabot. Dun po ako sa ano lang sa nagdito physiology. I apologize talaga, Doc. To be honest. Hindi ko rin siya maano eh nag nag uh, mabagal yung wifi ko. Nakakahiya pero I'll study better again. Sorry. I'm sure you will have been listening kanina and alam niyo na po yung sinews and bones, okay? Okay, Jing River points actually very famous for treating disorders of sinews and bones. So the question here is, you try your best po, no? Actually, this is just a test of, ano lang to, common sense. In fact, this was already mentioned by, this was mentioned earlier already. So which point do you think will treat cold and hot bones and leg atrophy? So this is something to do with bones and sinews. Remember, the bones and, yeah, sinews and bones. Yes, I will try. Lung 11. Bones. What controls the bones? Okay. Um, try again. Kaya mo yan. Diba? Bones? Hindi ako nag-aaral, sir. Um... Sige. Kaya mo yan. Kanina lang to, diba? Yung kidney. Kidney, kidney she cleft. Okay, sige na, sabihin na natin, kidney she cleft. What's the she cleft of the kidney? Guess again, kidney one? No, it's not a she cleft. Ah, sige po, I'll give you... Okay, patatawarin kita today, so next week... <laughs> okay, sir. I... Yes, doc, talaga, promise. Medyo sanga-sanga yes, lang yung mga ginagawa. It's okay lang po. Okay lang po. Sige, at least. Thank you for your honesty. Sige, at least you tried. I would like to call now on Ma'am Angel. Ma'am Angel? Yes, Doc. Hello po. Answer mo rito. So, sa so number 41, may answer is kidney 7. Jing River Metal po. Yes. Oh, di ba? Which Jing River point treats loss of voice, halting speech, and manic ravings? Remember, puro Jing River points put on. Loss of voice, wala ng bosses. Tapos yung speech niya, pa, ano ba tawag nito? Patigil, pa, pa, para, pa, halting speech, manic ravings as if seeing ghosts. Um, answer ko po, Doc, is uh, pericardium 5. Very good. 
Okay, hindi na kita tatanungin. Tawagan ko si Ma'am Ami. Thank you very much po. Thank you po, Doc. Thank you so much. Ma'am Ami? Yes, Doc. Okay. Which, what three Jing River points treat lumbar pain? LI5, Doc. Uh, spleen 5. And kidney 7. Hmm. Tama po ba, Doc? Or kidney 5. Una-una pag lumbar, isipin mo kaagad sa ano? Sa River, Jing River po ito ha. Jing River. Apo. Kidney 7? No. Uh, tatlo po kasi yung choice ko eh. May C-clef, may C-clef point po ako ng kidney. Kidney 5. Tayo mag C-clef. Jing River. Tayo mm. mag-confuse. River. Jing River. Kidney 1. Jing River ba yung kidney 1? Mukhang ako... Kidney 7. Ang kidney 7, Doc, eh. Ang Jing River. Kidney 7 po. Tama but, po ba, Doc? Kidney, kidney 7 sa so Jing River point. Dito. Remember. Okay. The bladder. Ano ba yung Jing River ng bladder? Jing River ng bladder po. Jing River ng blood, uh, bladder 38. Jing River? Oh. Jing River. Jing River do. Ano po siya? Ano po yung Jing River ng bladder? Ano na confused na po kayo, mukhang inaantok na. <laughs> okay, Pagtulong tayo kay ma'am, ano? Okay, I'll tell you the answer. Kasi di ba, lumbar pain, bladder, liver, and gallbladder. Yeah. So, what's the Jing River of liver? Liver 4. Liver 4. What's the Jing River of the gallbladder? 38. Jing River of the Bladder. 68. Okay. Na-confuse si Ma'am Ma Ami sa sheet left. Okay po. Sige. Huwag niyong i-ano yung ano. Okay. okay po daw. Yes. It's okay. Jing okay. Ito na na para ma-redeem po si Ma'am Ami. Okay. Continue to. Okay. Why are your Jing River points effective in treating cough and dyspnea? Dahil po siya sa Jing River. Jing River is for Metal. Metal. Uh -huh. Metal po. Uh -huh. Yes, kaya ngayon alam nyo na. No? Yes po. No. Metal points kasi sila. Maraming salamat po, Ma'am Ami. Yes po. Thank you, Doc. Let's call on Ma'am Joy from Baguio. Ma'am Joy. Hi, Doc. Yes, kaya kaya to. Good evening po. Anong doing will treat obstruction of the chi following wind stroke leading to <laughs> Okay. Impaired. So what's your answer? Breathing. Do you hear? Remember, you have to think of a point that will improve the chi flow. Diba? Diba sinabi natin, ano siya, a uh, metal point, right? Pagkatapos, look na yung So what is your answer? <laughs> Hello, Doc. Do you hear me? Uh, no. Ngayon na, okay na, yes. Ayan, okay na po. Tawal po, nasa ano kasi ako eh. Nasa liblib na naman ako. Pericardium 5, Doc, ang answer ko sa 45. Very good. Excellent. 
Wow, galing. Very cardium five. Which two Jing River points treat sudden loss of voice? So you would know how to... To treat myself. No? <laughs> Heart four and triple burner six, Doc. Galing. Congratulations. Okay. I presume alam mo rin yung sa tenga, no? Go. Sa tenga? Mm -hmm. Alam ni ma'am, ano? For, for loss of voice, no? Yes. Use that on the tenga. It, it's so effective. Promise. Heart four. Which one, Doc? Heart, yung heart and ano, dun din po sa tenga. Same points. Heart four. Yeah. Locate heart four. Mm -hmm. okay. Number 47. The last one. Which Jing River point treats wandering joint pain? Palipat-lipat. Severe lumbar pain. Like a small hammer in the middle of the back and pain of the hundred joints. So... Um, do I... Oh. So, speaking of what... Uh, what channel here? Joints. Um, gallbladder, Doc. Gallbladder 38. Okay. Thank you so much. I hope hindi kayo pinago. <laughs> Thank you very much. But I did not forget the question I asked, Ma'am. Ma'am Janine. Ma'am Janine, can you tell us about mitral valve prolapse? Yes, in layman's term, Doc. Yeah. Okay, the mitral valve um, is what separates the two chambers of your heart, the atrium and the ventricle. So that's the left side of the heart. Okay. So when there's a prolapse, that means it doesn't close. Oh, when it closes, there's like a gap. So the blood flows back to yeah. the atrium. Okay. So what predisposes one to have a mitral valve prolapse? Like, what it can be a... Uh, it, it can be from I know from it could be genetic or fifth, yeah. or when you get old dog siguro parang mm. although there are different um, ailments di ba may mga ailments yun that yeah. could cause it tests your mga ano Barlow syndrome di ko alam pa na yun so, like, are you so are you allowed to get pregnant when you have MVP? You have heart murmurs. Yes, kung severe na yung mitral valve prolapse. Oh. Delikado dok. Delikado nga. Mitral valve replacement, and also they should not be allowed to be stressed. Kaya ano? So my next question is: Can you live a normal life when you have MVP? Okay. Yes, no. Just do after mawala yung stress. Okay, thank you so much, Ma'am Janine. Thank you. Oh, don't, I have a question. But okay. can the prolapse through acupuncture go back? No, we can just deal with the symptoms. Because when you're so like under stress, remember that um uh if we're very emotional to let the emotions affect us. It can actually impact your liver, right? Mm -hmm. And the liver is the mother of the heart. Mm -hmm. So uh, we need to make sure that you get stressed. So we're not saying that acupuncture can actually cure it, but at least we can prevent, uh, you know, serious consequences from happening. Even the thickening dock of the heart. Yeah. But you can live through it. Yeah. And usually you're given medication to keep the blood flowing. And your relationship with your cardiologist would be a lifetime thing. Oh, Lord. Okay. Thank you, Doc. So are there any foods that you need to avoid when you have MVP? So this is very important. Hot foods. Spicy. Yes. Sugar. And yeah, when, huh? you know, um, did you know that sugar can actually give us a lot of problems? Okay, so reduce lang naman. Reduce your salt, reduce your sugar. What else? Because this will affect the the, 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 the blood. blood. 
Uh, and also alcohol intake. Alam naman natin that alcohol can actually make your liver um give you liver fire, and yeah. of course you have liver fire as well. And try to avoid processed food. Pero yun ang gusto ka inyo mga tao, especially processed meat like sausages, ham, bacon, because they're easy to. Uh, what I'm saying is you have to avoid saturated fat. The ba, like earlier we were talking about atherosclerosis and all these things. So this can this can actually add more problems. Uh, avoid any kind of fat. So if possible, don't 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 fry your food. Okay. Okay. What about coffee? It can cause palpitations. So it's not good. Could buy the coffee <laughs> because caffeine can actually make your MVP worse. Okay. Yeah. So my question is, um, what are the kind of food that can that you can eat? Green leafy vegetables. Okay. Anything green so that it can it can uh, relax the liver. You know, yeah. Yeah. Or it's like low in saturated fat and trans fat. Trans fat is found in every yeah, variety of vegetables and fruits. If you have to have all the colors there, the more not only green, no, kailangan maraming color, and of course whole grains, proteins, and of course mm -hmm. if possible. Ano, what what food? Is, what fruit is good for heart heart valve? Any fruit that is rich, diba any fruit naman is rich in antioxidants, especially berries. Yeah, yeah, mga blueberries. Basta wag high in sugar, in sucrose. Like ripe bananas, ripe mangoes, na super, super, diba? Yeah, but um, you, you should prefer, yung, it's about, ano lang eh, balancing lang, like not too much of anything. Yeah. Or you may probably think of foods that are very good for the heart. Mm -hmm. oh, the, the reason why we ask them, yung real berries kasi, they're not really high in sugar. They're, they're not actually, especially strawberry, di ba? But the problem with most people, they put a lot of sugar. Yeah. <laughs> so it's not really unhealthy for people with heart issues. Mm -hmm. Tsaka not siguro, no, Doc? Mga ano, chia seeds. And use olive mm -hmm. oil. It's like what you do, di ba? Because it... Mm -hmm. It lowers your LD, your bad cholesterol, LDL, and also raises your uh, good cholesterol. So I Drink hope... Drink the blood. Yes. And also, I'd like to make mention, um, you you use, for those who want to improve their skin, we have good news. Huh? See, Dr. Sam has this... Hindi pa nauubo sa dami ng binigay mo. Okay lang Oh, so, um, he really wants to use it because he's going improve. Because according to Dr. Apalanka, our mentor, the best luck talaga is olive. Uh, no, it's this virgin coconut oil. Virgin coconut oil. And one good news is that see, Dr. Sam came up with uh, my favorite is the one that. Basta sa dami, no? I have it with me, pero ask Dr. Sam, you're very lucky. Hindi siya amoy BCO. Mm -mm. Tapos nag improve nawawala yung mga, especially when you use gua sha on your face. Okay. And I you order po. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maganda. Maganda siya. Maganda the lavender siya. one, dok, kung gusto mo. Yeah. Lavender. Yes. Lavender. Lavender. Ay, yeah, lavender. Ang sarap ng tulog ng pasyente. <laughs> Put ano, dok, ihalo mo yung kay dok Sam yung castor oil. Double pa ang ang effect. Ang effect. Detoxify kasi ang castor oil. Uh, even for the face, so there's plumpness. Kasi siya lang ang absorbable 100% by the skin. I didn't so, know. So, take Pero, my patients. Medyo mabaho lang yung castor oil. No, may konti Alam lang mo. siya yung rancid. That's why ihahalo mo siya. Kung yung kailangan uh, siya may lavender, hindi na. Hindi ba ito? Uh, kaya okay. Medyo, yung castor oil po, kasi di ba medyo malapot compare sa mga VCO sa olive oil. Talagang medyo malapot yung castor oil. Uh, konti lang po. Yeah, oo. Oh, oh. oh, parang sticky siya na ano eh. Sa akin, hindi. So, direct. Pwede siya ihalo po doon, Dok Sam, sa ginawa mong lavender. Yeah. Na rub. Yes. Ay, yeah. Hindi, hindi rub yung oil. Apo. 
you should try doctor's <laughs> um, ano, VCO. Hindi siya amoy mm-hmm. VCO. Alin yung cream po yun? Yung cream po? Hindi po. Uh, hindi po. Gumawa po ako ng... Wash up oil. It's so you Ay, Wash oil mo, VCO. Okay. And also, uh, no, lavender. for those who are advocates of the... You know, I'm thinking of doing... Uh, of uh, creating a group. This was inspired by Dr. Sam. Uh, the auricular med- preventive auricular preventive medicine, the APM protocol. Because we want people to think na... Uh, we want them to believe na just don't go pag nandiyan na yung problem. Can you imagine mm-hmm. you already have the... Ay, nako. Are you are you fond of ano, ear pellets? Ang ganda ng mga ear pellets niya. So for more details, you can... Gumawa ka ng ano, Dr. Sun? Ng uh, Facebook account or something? Uh, meron, meron na po, Doc. Sige lang, ipalike ko na lang sa ito. Ah, okay, sige. Thank you po. Uh, amazing. Congratulations, Dr. Sam. I, we will never forget this. And the price is much, much lower than... Very much lower. Kung tumutubo pa siya doon, ang dami kasi niyang pera, so walang problem. And... Yes. And of course, with your knowledge sa naturopathy, wala po masyado akong alam doon, so ang gandang combination niyo. And I heard you're also doing this ano, bone setting thing. Yes, the row, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good combination. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, doc, I have one message for you. Uh, okay. Uh, advance happy birthday. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, we, we cannot happy come. Happy birthday, Doc. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Wait, we're planning when? actually when? to our planning actually next to visit. Next week pa? Ang tagal na. <laughs> Malayo pa. Oh, next week? Yeah, next week. February ka ba, Doc? I'm sorry? February ka ba? O, o, pero hindi ko sabihin niyo anong, anong date. Why? Why not? Doc, I know the date. Oh, you know the date. Okay, sige. O, oh, dito sabihin mo na, Sir Michael. Alam mo pa late. <laughs> okay, mamaya na. O, sige, let's... Bakit napunta sa birthday yung topic? So, <laughs> Kasi daw magpapaka- magpapakake daw kayo. <laughs> Sige, tingnan natin. I- ano ko lang, email ko lang ha. Uh, thank you, Dr. Sam. Ha? Yung binigay mo ng mga ear seeds. They're so good. And ewan ko kung meron din siyang gua siya. Where did I put my gua siya? Uh, maganda siya. Like when you're watching TV or ano. And I don't know if the all the, the the VCO can actually help your hair grow as well, no? Um, nagkamagawa ako ng ano? <laughs> so yon. Maraming salamat. Ay, alam ko na din. Alam ko na pala dok kung kailan birthday mo. Sige na. Ano na natin? So, so thank you so <laughs> much for for let's uh let's turn this off na for joining, and we hope to see you again next week. Thank you, Paul.